Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, purple shaded uh, triangle CPT fully confined in between the two squares, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the side length uh, of this uh, smaller square is uh, six uh, units, whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, CG is uh, three units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded uh, triangle uh, CPT. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times the base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, CT is the base of uh, this uh, triangle, whereas uh, this uh, CP is the height of this uh, purple uh, triangle. So therefore, our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, CT and uh, this uh, side length uh, CP as well. And please keep in mind that this uh, line uh, DG and this uh, line uh, AF uh, are not uh, parallel. And here's our next step. Since we are dealing with this uh, square ABCD, if this uh, side length is uh, 6, uh, then this side length is going to be 6 uh, and this side length is uh, 6 uh, units as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, whole uh, length is going to be equal to, we know that this uh, side length is uh, 6 plus uh, 3 is going to make uh, 9 uh, units. So if this side length uh, is uh, 9 units and since we are dealing with this uh, square BEFG, so therefore uh, this side length is going to be 9, 9 and 9 uh, units uh, across the board. And now let's make an observation. We can see that we are dealing with these uh, two squares. So therefore, uh, these angles uh, are going to be 90 degrees. Now we can see that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AE is going to be 6 uh, plus uh, 9 is going to give us 15 uh, units. So therefore, we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, ABP is uh, similar to this uh, bigger triangle uh, AEF according to angle angle similarity theorem because uh, this angle is in common between these uh, two triangles this is our 90 degree angle this is our 90 degree angle uh, as well whereas uh, this uh, angle is congruent to this uh, angle since they are uh, corresponding angles so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, the ratio of uh, P, B and uh, A, B. Let me go ahead and write down uh, P, B divided by A, B is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, this side length uh, F, E and this side length uh, A, E. Let me go ahead and write down F, E divided by A, E. And now we can see our A, B length uh, is uh, 6. Our FE length uh, is uh, 9, whereas uh, our AE length uh, is, this combined length is uh, 15. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down uh, PB divided by 6 uh, is going to be equal to 9 uh, divided by 15. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 6 uh, to isolate uh, PB. And here we can see 6 and 6 is gone. So PB length uh, turns out to be 54 divided by 15. Or if we reduce that thing, uh, PB length uh, turns out to be 18 divided by 5 units. So therefore, our uh, this uh, PB length uh, turns out to be 18 divided by 5 units. And now since we are interested in finding the value of this uh, side length uh, CP, so therefore we are going to subtract this 18 divided by 5 from this uh, length uh, 6. So therefore our uh, CP length uh, is going to be 
सिक्स माइनस एटीन डिवाइड बाय फाइव एंड इफ वी सिंपलीफाई दिस वन एज वी डिड ओवर हेयर इट टर्न्स आउट टू बी ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाय फाइव सो दस आवर सी पी लेंथ टर्न्स आउट टू बी ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाय फाइव दैट मींस दिस लेंथ इज ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाय फाइव यूनिट्स and now let's go ahead and figure out this uh, length uh, ct now and now we can see this uh, right triangle uh, pct another uh, right triangle uh, pgf as you can see over here they are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem since uh, this angle is in common between both of the triangles this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees uh, as well and these uh, two angles uh, are uh, congruent uh, as well since they are corresponding angles so therefore we are going to have a proportion so we can write the ratio of uh, ct and uh, cp length so let me go ahead and write down uh, ct divided by cp is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, gf and this uh, gp let me go ahead and write down uh, the ratio of uh, g f divided by g p length and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, g p length uh, is uh, 3 plus uh, 12 divided by 5 let me go ahead and write down 3 plus uh, 12 divided by 5 and if we simplify this one uh, our g p length turns out to be 27 divided by 5 and now we can see that our uh, c p length uh, is uh, 12 divided by 5 our this uh, gf length is uh, 9 and our gp length uh, is uh, 27 divided by 5 so let me go ahead and write down uh, ct divided by 12 divided by 5 equals to 9 divided by 27 divided by 5 and now if we flip uh, these uh, fractions uh, over then this is simply is going to be 5 times c t divided by 12 equals to likewise 9 times 5 divided by 27 now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 12 divided by 5 to isolate c t i'm going to multiply 12 divided by 5 on this side as well so therefore this 5 and 5 is gone 12 and 12 is gone so therefore our ct value is going to be equal to and here we can see this uh, 5 and 5 is gone and if we simplify the rest uh, our uh, this uh, value ct value turns out to be 4 uh, units so thus our this uh, ct value turns out to be 4 uh, units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded triangle uh, cpt now and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case our base is 4 and our height is uh, 12 uh, divided by 5 so therefore the purple triangle area is going to be a half uh, times 4 uh, times uh, 12 uh, divided by 5 and if we reduce this thing that is going to be 24 uh, divided by 5 and that could be equal to 4.8 square units so thus the area of this uh, purple shaded uh, triangle turns out to be 4.8 uh, square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye